Are you a business leader or aspiring to become one? and want to create a corporate culture and create great leadership or strategic planning, then this video is for you to take your organization from good to excellence. Today, we are going to learn about the best practices and mindsets to be a great leader by summarizing one of the best seller, Good to Great by Jim Collins. So like, comment, share with your friend and colleague who needs it the most, and subscribe to the channel for such content in the future. Hello everyone, and welcome back to 5 Min Book Club. Keep watching, keep learning. Today, we're diving into a classic in the world of business literature, Good to Great by Jim Collins. This book has deep insights that can transform the way you think about success in the corporate world. Let's get started. In Good to Great, Jim Collins reveals the secrets of companies that made the leap from good to great and sustained their success. It's about level 5 leadership, finding the right people, facing brutal facts, the hedgehog concept disciplined culture, and many more. These principles can help any organization thrive. Let's have a quick insight into what we will learn today. Level 5 Leadership, First Q, Then What, Confront the Brutal Facts, Hedgehog Concept, Culture of Discipline, Technology Accelerators, The Flywheel Effect, Sustained Greatness, Comparison with Comparison Companies. Now let's follow up with the key content in brief, Level 5 Leadership, The Parable of Two CEOs. Once upon a time, in the world of business, there were two CEOs. One was a superstar, known for their charisma and personal achievements. They were often in the spotlight, receiving praise and admiration. The other CEO was a quiet, unassuming person, not seeking the limelight, but instead, they focused on the success of their organization. They were what Jim Collins calls a level 5 leader. Now, the level 5 leader CEO led their company from good to great, while the superstar CEO struggled to sustain success. The lesson here is that great companies are often led by leaders who prioritize the organization over personal glory. What type of CEO would you like to be? First Q, then what the bus and the right people. Imagine you have a bus and you want to take it on a great journey. According to Jim Collins, it's crucial to get the right people on the bus first. You see, in successful companies, focus on finding and hiring the best people for the team before deciding where to go. It's like having a team of superheroes on your bus. No matter where you drive, with the right people on board, you're more likely to reach your destination. Are you ready with your team of superheroes yet? If not, then start finding one the rest will follow. Confront the brutal facts, the Stockdale Paradox. There was once a brave soldier named Admiral James Stockdale who survived years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. He taught us a valuable lesson called the Stockdale Paradox. It's about facing harsh realities while maintaining unwavering hope. In the world of business, great companies don't shy away from challenges. They confront them head-on, but never lose hope that they can overcome those challenges. It's a bit like being a superhero who knows the odds are tough but never gives up. Can facing reality like a superhero lead to business success? Of course, yes. Hedgehog concept, finding your superpower. Imagine you're a hedgehog. You can't run fast or climb trees, but you have one special skill you can curl up into a spiky ball to defend yourself. Jim Collins says that great companies are like hedgehogs. They find their unique superpower and stick to it. Instead of trying to do many things, great companies focus on what they are best at. It's like a superhero realizing their unique power and using it to save the day. What is your or your company's superpower? Culture of discipline everyone in sync. In a well-organized orchestra, every musician plays their part perfectly in harmony. Similarly, in great companies, there's a culture of discipline. Everyone understands the rules and follows them. It's like superheroes working together as a team, each knowing their role and using their powers at the right moment to defeat the villains. I believe your company's values, beliefs, attitudes, systems, and rules are already in the right place. Technology accelerators tools, not drivers. Imagine you're a carpenter with a magic hammer. The hammer doesn't build houses on its own. You do. In great companies, technology is like that magic hammer. It's a tool that helps people do their jobs better. Just like a superhero's gadgets assist them in saving the world, technology helps great companies become even better at what they do. The tech is always important, but treat people at first. The flywheel effect building momentum. Have you ever seen a giant wheel? Imagine you're trying to push it. At first, it's really hard to get it moving. But as you push and push, it starts to spin on its own. That's what Jim Collins calls the flywheel effect. 
Great companies don't become great overnight. They keep pushing and pushing, making small improvements, and eventually, they start moving faster and faster, achieving greatness. Keep doing better to reach greater. Sustain greatness don't let the wheel stop. Picture a bicycle. You pedal and pedal to go faster. But if you stop pedaling, the bike slows down, right? In business, it's the same. Great companies must keep working hard to maintain their success. They don't rest on their laurels. It's like a superhero who keeps training to stay strong and ready for any challenge. Good becomes great, and great becomes greater. Keep rolling the wheel. Keep pedaling. Comparison with comparison companies, what makes them special? To understand greatness, it's important to compare. Jim Collins and his team compared the great companies with similar ones that didn't achieve greatness. They wanted to find out what made the great companies so special. It's a bit like comparing superheroes to ordinary people to see what sets them apart, their unique powers and determination. Do you think your competitors would be thinking less? In conclusion, Good to Great is like a guidebook for becoming a superhero in the world of business. It teaches us that great leaders prioritize their organizations, surround themselves with the right people, face challenges with hope, focus on their unique strengths, work together as a disciplined team, and use technology wisely. They push the wheel of progress until it starts spinning on its own and never stop pedaling to maintain their greatness. So, if you want to be a business superhero, these lessons are your superpowers. And that's a wrap for our Good to Great Carnival. Remember, you can apply these lessons while having a blast on your journey to greatness. If you enjoyed this unique twist, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting adventures and learning. Thanks for being part of the fun today. I'm Mike from the 5 Minutes Book Club. And until our next creative expedition, keep embracing greatness and adding a touch of creativity to your life. Keep watching, keep growing. Like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to 5 Minutes Book Club for more videos like this. If you want us to summarize any book of your choice, mention us. We strongly recommend reading the book to grab the knowledge entirely. The link is in the description.